Our top story tonight, the two Blount County deputies injured in a shooting yesterday have now been released from the hospital. We are also learning more about the suspected shooter charged with assaulting the officers. This all started around 4 o'clock yesterday when deputies were called to a domestic situation at a home in Rockford off Old Knoxville Highway. 911 callers said they were worried about an elderly bedridden woman who was inside the home. The two officers, Deputy Edward Walker and Deputy Corbin Smith, were rushed to UT Medical for, Center for treatment after being shot. But again, they've both now been released from the hospital. Now take a look. You can see deputies approaching the scene yesterday in these pictures shared with us by a viewer. According to Sheriff James Barong, the suspect had weapons all throughout the home and was, quote, ready for a battle, shooting two deputies in the leg before then barricading himself in the home. After more than an hour of negotiations, 59-year-old Ronald Millsaps was taken into custody around 510 last night. Millsaps was booked into the Blunt County Jail last night and is being charged with attempted criminal homicide and aggravated assault, among other charges. He is scheduled to appear in court on June 17th. That is this Monday. Today, we've spent the day digging into Millsap's arrest warrants and criminal past, and we are learning yesterday was not his first run-in with law enforcement. Six on your side reporter Ella Wales talked with neighbors about past concerns with Millsap's and about the moment the standoff began. Bo, Lori, the Millsap's home on Jacob Springs Boulevard has been the site of multiple domestic incidents, which came to a head when deputies arrived yesterday. All of a sudden, I just hear, like, pow, 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 pow. And I, so I hollered at my husband and I was like, did you hear that? And he said, no. And I said, that, I think that was gunshots. Tom and Lori Clark live right behind suspect Ronald Millsaps and were home when deputies arrived. And we hear a bow, 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 you know, in the door. And um, Tom goes to the door and there's, a poli there's two police officers. And they said, we, have to, we need to take you up to get you out of the house. Millsaps wasn't a stranger to law enforcement. The Blount County Sheriff's Office has responded to his home on domestic calls three times in the last year prior to the shooting. Neighbors having run-ins with him as well. These neighbors have had trouble with him before. Um, just kind of being, when they put their fence up, he said it was on his mom's property and he egged their car. The couple says they've worried about Millsap's mother, who was inside the home during the standoff. According to arrest warrants during the incident, the E911 center received reports that Millsap's was, quote, actively trying to kill his mother. The incident marks the second time this year Blunt County deputies have been hit by gunfire. Four months, I've had four deputies shot, and one of those died. And I don't know what's going on in society, but uh, it, it, it's troubling. Uh, it's uh, very emotional, as you saw last time, and this, uh, by the grace of God, these deputies are still alive. Support for the sheriff's office, something the couple has demonstrated even before two deputies knocked on their door. Uh, this was one of the shirts that they uh, made for um, the last shooting, and so, and we, actually, we, we bought two different ones. They were escorted back to their home after Millsaps was in custody. In Blunt County, Ella Wales, six on your side. As we mentioned, both injured deputies are now out of the hospital. Their family is expressing gratitude for their recovery and the community's support. I talked with Corbin Smith's mother, Carrie Smith, who called both her son and Deputy Edward Walker heroes. I can't imagine the fear that was going through them because they both have very young babies, very little. His, his child is three weeks old. My son's daughter is a year old. These are these are. 20 something year old young men and i just want to say that you know deputy walker is also a hero and we are praying for his family and that he makes a speedy recovery along with our son she also said they've received an outpouring of support from the sheriff's office community and online her son came home from the hospital last night and deputy walker was released earlier today the community is grateful for that. Ella, thank you so much. And we will continue to follow this case as we look ahead to Millsap's first scheduled court appearance, which is Monday.